What is going on YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so no most future videos. I have an amazing food coma. I cannot complain about that. But you know what else is amazing? This cheap high yield dividend stock. I've been loading up on this one. I am getting close to 100 sh shares right now. And on M1 Finance, these guys are really going to turbocharge my dividend portfolio. They have good dividend growth, and they're cheap, and they're a business development company. So if you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Smash that like button. Let's check this dividend stock out right now. And that dividend stock is Capital Southwest Corporation. CSWC is a symbol. It's sitting at 21.35. Dividend yield is 10.49%. PE ratio of 13.49. Average volume 339.98K. Market cap is 829.23 million US dollars. Year range is 1628 to 2292. Day range is 2131 to 2189. And its previous close is 2182. So these guys have not done well against the S&P as of late. And a lot of business development companies, financial sector stocks, and real estate stocks have not done well since the pandemic. So for me, this is the time to capitalize. And as I sound extremely stuffed and full right now, I am stuffing my investment money into these guys because I want to get around 400 shares. That may get me to around $200 quarterly with dividends. So let's go over these guys as a company. So they provide debt and equity capital for new platform acquisitions, dividend recapitalizations, refinancing, and bolt-on acquisitions and growth financings. So the lead is five to seventy million dollars in financings. Target holdings is five to thirty-five million. Regulatory partner with active network of co-investors. Okay. They look for companies with the following characteristics. Minimum EBITDA of three million. Typical direct borrower has three to 20 million in EBITDA. I've went over that numerous times in previous videos. So make sure you subscribe and check that out. I'll go over that in the future. Appropriate return for underlying operational and structural risks. So they work on the wide range of clients including financial sponsors independent sponsors founder and independently owned businesses investment banks and business brokers and they seek to either lead a debt financing club with other lenders or participate in larger syndicated uh, financings credit investment structures include these ones I really like, the first lien debt and second lien debt and the subordinated debt. So that's one thing that I really like. And this one right here, flexibility to invest across multiple securities in a single transaction. So the one thing that I really like as well, okay, this is what they invest across many industry sectors, industrial manufacturing and services, value added distribution, Healthcare products and services, business services, specialty chemicals, tech enabled services, and SAAS models, food and beverage. So I want to go over that real quick. So check out their overall portfolio industries, business services, consumer products and retail, consumer services, distribution, energy services, financial services, healthcare products, healthcare services, industrial products, industrial services media marketing and entertainment, paper and forest products, software and IT services, specialty chemicals, natural resources, energy services, uh, midstream and energy services, downstream, education, manufacturing, construction, transportation, logistics, environmental, telecommunications, food and beverage services, and aerospace and defense. So let's look over these guys real quick. So. 
One that I really looked over was Inspire Aesthetics, the healthcare services. I really like that one. Island Pump and Tank, that's industrial services. That's a good one. They have a lot of these. This James River Cardiology grabbed my interest as well. So with these guys, again, I said these guys. A lot of people are entertained by me saying that so many times. But the diversification of this business development company, I really like. They've generated a lot of revenue, and I'm going to go over their revenue and dividend history. With diversity, that's always a good thing with business development companies. And as a reminder, 90% of a business development company, what they make, have to go back to investors. That's the rules. That's like a real estate investment trust. So we're going to jump to their revenue and dividend history trends. So right here, what attracts me to these guys is their revenue trends. So 2017, annually in millions US dollars, 23, 2018, 35, 2019, 51, 2020, 62, 2021, 68, 2022, 82, and 2023, 119. So you're seeing a huge increase in revenue with this business development company and the diversification is very attractive. Let's go over their dividend history. So look at the trends on their website, capitalsouthwest.com slash dividends. You're seeing some nice dividend growth over time. Now, if there wasn't dividend growth, I'd be a little hesitant because certain business development companies are very stagnant with their dividend growth. This one is going up. That's what's attractive. And I want to go over this real quick. Because the dividend yield is 11.62%. Supplemental dividend, they add a nice little supplemental dividend sometimes. Okay, is six cents. So annualized dividends, you get a little supplemental dividend and a regular dividend. So you're getting a nice little package with these guys. This is one thing I want to go over because a lot of people are like, okay, it's just this. Wait, no, it's a dividend cut. No, this is what's going on. You have a supplemental dividend that they normally have with their dividend um, and their dividend distribution. So very well distributed. And again, looking at these dividend trends, you're seeing December 2018, 48 cents, and then uh, 2019 in March, 48 cents, 49 cents, 50 cents, you get 125 in December 2019, and you get 51 cents, a little stagnant. Blame the pandemic from March 2020 to December 2020. Okay, and then it jumped to 51 cents in December 2020. March 2021, 52 cents, and then 53 cents, and then 54 cents in September 2021. 97 cents in December 2021. 48 cents, a little bit down, big deal, March 2022. June 2022, 63 cents, uh, 50 cents, 57 cents in December 2022, and then 58 cents in March 2023. June, 59 cents, and then 62 cents. So you get, again, 56 cents plus 6, 62 cents. Good dividend growth there. This is why I'm loading up in these guys. And according to Zach's, according to Zach's, their dividend growth in five years is 8.92%. Number of dividend increases in the last five years is 15. They have a high payout ratio. Gee, they're a business development company. 90% of what they make go back to investors. 216 if you bought one share, 990 according to Zach's with their dividend yield. So this is what I like about these guys. I'm going to jump to M1 Finance. So right now I have 62 shares on M1 Finance. I can get to 200 or 400, probably 400 at best. I will do some serious damage with my dividend portfolio and really do some serious dividend firepower. So I'm just letting you know, these guys I'm buying right here. I have these guys right here. Right now I'm long in these guys. And if something changes drastically, I'll get rid of them. But there's no way I'm getting rid of these guys. I'm going to continue to buy them. So if you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. And again, smash that like button. If you guys are new to this channel, I uh, would appreciate it. So I'm going to jump to my dis disclaimer. So as a reminder, this YouTube channel is for entertainment purposes only. This is not in any form of financial advice. 
you are looking for financial advice, seek advice from a financial expert or somebody that is a certified to give financial advice or a financial analyst or expert or financial advisor, anybody that's certified to give financial advice. Do not take this in any form of financial advice. I do this for entertainment purposes. I show you my dividend investing journey. And as you can tell in the description, I have a very long disclaimer. Again, I'm gonna repeat this. Do not take this in any form of financial advice. I invest in certain dividend stocks. I invest in these guys. I'm being straightforward that I buy, I buy these guys. If there's a dividend cut or something drastically happens, I will get rid of them. So I'm just being very transparent. I, you know, I don't try to pump stocks. I'm very straightforward with my buys. I'm very straightforward with my dividend investing journey. And I just want to let you know, any investment that you make is a huge risk. You can gain money, you can lose money. So right now, I love these guys. I own them. And I'm going to try to get to 400 shares. So I just want to be very transparent, transparent with that. So you guys take care and have a good one.